Chesh, Vitae Nakanale. My name is Rob, and in today's video, we're going to look at a traditional Polish dance called the Polonaise. Now, this dance is more of a formal dance, so it will be seen at such events as a prom, just like in this video. I'm going to assume they're the teachers. This actually looks more complicated than, I don't know if, well, no, sorry. I don't know if it is more complicated than it looks because they're all going in unison. They've all got to time it perfectly. Um, but what I really like actually straight away is it's it's boy, girl, and I assume it can be done boy, boy, girl, girl, whatever. But there's that sort of mutual respect between both of them. They are equal. They are they are proper, they're presentable, and they are a unit, they are one. Um, and and can I just say, they all look fantastic at their prom. Uh, the parents are clearly there to watch them. Maybe this is at the start. This is either at the start or at the end. Surely it should be at the start. All the parents have dropped them off. They do this awesome dance, and then they can have fun. But straight away, this is incredible. Um, and I can see this, for example... Um, before a banquet, maybe, um, in the medieval times, maybe, I don't know. It's the eye contact. So this is where it changes up a little bit. You're not necessarily sticking with the same partner. Um, this maybe was when it starts. The first bit is the walkout to the dance. Um, here we are. And maybe now it's, it's well, I don't know. But they've all sort of switched about. They've moved about. And this does seem very traditional um, type of dance that you would see, as I said, in, in medieval castles, the sort of thing you see in films and whatnot. But it's so fancy. What I really like, though, is because this is being done by young adults, when they have to go very, very close to each other, they can't help but put a little smile on their face. Um, I don't think it's very natural for young people to do that. Um, so you see their little cheeky smiles. and uh, But they all look like they're enjoying Well, most of them look like they're enjoying it. It's just very fancy. The girls take take a step forward. I want to know, so by what it looks like, some of them look like they're really enjoying it. Some of them look like, though, 
they're forced to do this, which they probably are. <laughs> they are probably forced to do this at their prom. Um, uh, how long would this take to practice and learn? It's obviously the end of school. I assume it's end of school, maybe end of college. Um, they probably would have practiced it for a while. Um, what happens if you there's not enough men, boys and girls to be together? I just, yeah, some of them seem to be loving it. Some of them feel like they're forced to be there. Across when it's time to turn, they have a little look at each other. going to be a big ending. Oh, they're four in a row now. They're linking up to four in a row. It's got to be it. This is so good. What I'm noticing is there's um, the amount of times that they end up switching partners, but they always end up back with the same partner that they started with. That's got to be, uh, it's just got to be some serious uh, choreography going on, but it's incredible because they always end up with the same one, even if they switch about. This is just so, this is so good. <laughs> They leaving? That's it, they're done. Right. Fantastic. Uh, they've got to be teachers, head headmasters, maybe, parents. That was awesome. And straight away, I'm going to tell you, we don't do that at our schools or our colleges or our universities. A dance like that does not happen. You'll have the boys on one side, the girls on another side, especially at school proms, um, and they will not mix. This was incredible. The fact that they're doing this at school slash college age is interesting because, like, I, like I'm saying there, in the UK... 
it's shy and it's awkward to dance with a girl. Whereas here, it is a proper choreography. And that wasn't a short dance. That was what? Six minutes. That was six minutes of dancing. And I say dancing. Well, yeah. Well, no, it was dance, I suppose. And that was fantastic. It was very formal. As I said, I could certainly see it being done in some sort of medieval castle uh, before a meal. The sort of thing you see on films and TV, those old school ones. Um, but I just don't think we would get that over here. But I thought that was fantastic. If they could bring that in to schools over here. A few things I want to know. One, did you do this dance at your prom? Number two, where else would you do this dance? And number three, I don't think I've got any more after this. Number three is how long does this dance take to learn? Because that seems like that would take a while. I know of it, a lot of it is just choreography and a lot of it's just steps. Um, but it, surely it must take a while to get in the right order and everything. But I really enjoyed that. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Um, it's traditional and it's keeping those traditions alive, even in the modern age. So I thought that was fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me on this one. Make sure you like and subscribe. La cucha es subscribucha. Something like that. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, papa.